All right, we're here at GIE. Unfortunately, Greenworks doesn't have anything in the near future as far as their 30. Um, we did come by the Skag booth, and they've got a concept here. Uh, their 30-inch mower that they're developing. Uh, it's just this is just a not even a working prototype, but uh, it is good news that they're at least working on it. Uh, so it's the same as their 30-inch mower with the caster wheels. Uh, they're using the Vanguard batteries platform. You know, hopefully something they will come out with in the next year or so. Hey guys, here at the DR booth. Uh, DR is uh, owned by Generac, who now owns Ming Green. Uh, and it's really cool to see uh, the battery technology Main Green's bringing to DR. So they've got their zero turn, I think it's residential version, battery powered. They got a wood chipper, tiller, brush hog, or a brush cutter. Uh, so that's pretty neat. Uh, and they've got this battery platform right here. So pretty impressive. All right, look, uh, we've got to uh, do trenching or any kind of irrigation or running lighting or anything like that. And Geo Ripper now has a battery powered version that looks like it runs off the milwaukee uh, platform so that's pretty cool hey guys uh for you that are doing uh, robotic mowers and uh you're using the cable in machines uh they now have a a battery powered version of that so it's really cool uh we're thinking about getting one i think the price point is about thirty two hundred dollars here's drew trying out the mean green vanquish looks like an awesome mower i love our stalker but uh, i can see a lot of improvements There's Kevin on the zero turn. Knocking over hay bales. You like it? Hey guys, here's a, this is a company called Scythe. And this is really similar to the uh, Mean Green robotic mower they were demoing a couple of years ago. Uh, but this is the future. You see a lot of companies coming out with this now, and this is the first time I've heard of this company, but uh, I'm guessing that this is real similar in the regard that you check it around the property, show it the perimeter, and then it you know, automatically knows where it's at, and it is able to mow that property while your crews are doing the other stuff. But pretty cool concept. It looks like about a 48-inch stand-on mower. You can see this is definitely probably a prototype and an early development because it's jerking around a lot. You know, it's not not very smooth by any means. So here's the DR version of the Mean Green residential mower. It's got their battery modules in the back, which is pretty cool. Um, very similar to their new uh, residential one, but uh, very cool. I like these battery modules. Very cool. All right, we're trying out the Toro 21-inch heavy-duty recycler. Uh, we want to try the Super Recycler battery version, the 22-inch, but they don't have one out here to demo. But we're trying this out. Seems like a pretty cool machine. Super fast. Uh, I've heard these things have great lift, uh, great cut quality, but they do use a lot of a lot of power, which is you know which is fine if it does the job. But it seems like a very well made machine. A little bit heavy. I'd like to try the Super Recycler, which is aluminum, a little bit lighter, uh, and see how that does. What do you think, Drew? I like it. Hey, you like it? All right, we're out here demoing the Toro Grandstand Revolution. Kevin's on here, I believe it's 48 inch deck. Uh, it's supposed to have about an eight plus hour runtime, so looks like a nice mower. Got some uh, cool tools powered with the Vanguard lithium power. You got the parking lot blower, a leaf vac, billy goat leaf vac, and looks like a uh, more powerful pressure washer, so pretty cool. I'm not sure if this is a prototype or a working model, but uh, apparently Ferris is working on a 36-inch uh, electric mower, and here's their either prototype. I'm not sure when it'll go into production, but it looks pretty cool. So apparently some, somebody is working on a uh, narrower uh, stand-on. Very cool. Here's a Simplicity uh, Zero Turn. Uh, looks like a residential model, obviously, but good-looking machine. Also running off the Vanguard batteries. Here is the Bluebird uh, Lithium uh, Walk Behind Aerator. I believe they have a smaller model over there. I'll show it next, but uh, it's pretty cool. Awesome. It's pretty cool. Here's the Bluebird uh, Electric Power Rake. Bluebird's also making this electric uh, hover mower now. Pretty cool. 
Here is the Husqvarna Siora. Uh, this is supposed to come out in a few years, but pretty cool mower. It's supposed to do between six and 18 acres, depending on the frequency of mowing and conditions, but uh, pretty neat machine. The idea behind this is it's uh, similar to like a grasshopper mower or something like that. Uh, eventually they're gonna have different attachments for this. And obviously this will be for like ball fields and things like that, but they're gonna have different attachments, maybe like for a golf, a uh, driving range or something they might have a ball collector or different different little attachments that'll be able to go onto the same platform so it's pretty cool here at the pelink booth uh we were hoping they would bring their 25 inch mower because i've heard great things about it from people in uh europe and australia but i don't believe they brought one so uh we'll find out see if they're actually going to bring those to the u.s but uh you know could be a good viable option for a wide area Hello everyone, this is Michael with Quiet Lawn. If you'd like advice, information, or tips about taking care of your lawn or landscape, please follow us.